This is one of the best performing stocks of 2024. New Holdings, owner of Brazilian fintech Newbank, is up 62% this year, taking the company's market value to $66 billion. Newbank has a book value of $6.8 billion and has reported $9.2 billion of revenue over the last 12 months and $1.3 billion of net income. So the stock is valued at just under 10 times book value and 52 times earnings. Since the company was founded in 2013, Newbank has had a stunning rise, growing from zero to 100 million customers across Brazil, Mexico and Colombia. As a mostly digital bank, New doesn't have the high fixed costs that come from operating branches. This allows the company to lower fees which attracts customers and leads to powerful feedback loops. Top line revenue continues to expand, growing 68% last year and 182% the year before. Customers grew 26% last year and another 6% in Q1. And importantly, those new customers are using more of New Bank's products, which translates to higher revenues per user. Meanwhile, Newbank's move into Mexico is paying off. The company says it's already gained over 6% of the credit card market in Mexico, less than five years after entering the country. If Newbank can continue to expand like this throughout Latin America, the stock can continue to move higher. Of course, there are some risks to be aware of. Newbank stock plunged over 60% in 2022, mostly on valuation concerns as the company came to market valued at over 20 times revenue at the time of its IPO. Newbank isn't as expensive now as it was then, but it isn't cheap either. The company's market cap is currently bigger than Brazil's biggest bank, despite having a book value that is barely one-fifth of the size. And another risk is competition. The major banks in Brazil, which control 80% of the market, pretty much ignored Newbank when it was small, but they're not doing so now. Increasing competition from major banks alongside lower interest rates could help to put a dent into New Bank's impressive growth. And it's worth remembering the risk and volatility that is typically associated with South American and emerging markets. Economic recessions tend to hit these countries extra hard and the plunge of 2022 highlights what can happen if New Bank comes under pressure. Even so, 50 times earnings is not necessarily an expensive multiple when you consider New Bank's opportunity, its growth and its powerful network effects. As a result, I rate this stock a cautious buy. It's a company I would prefer to buy on a dip. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I hold no position in New Bank. To see my videos before everyone else, make sure to join my newsletter at freeminutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.